as we broaden the view, a couple of light showers off of both coasts. Now, later on today, we will see a decent shot of afternoon showers and storms. They're going to start a little later than yesterday, as we'll see them roll through there between 6 and 9 o'clock, and then they'll be out of here pretty quickly after sunset, and tomorrow, our rain chances go down even more. Temperatures this morning above our average of 74. We've got 77 Fort Myers, 78 there in Port Charlotte, and you can see the dew point value sitting in the mid to upper 70s. So really sticky out there, and that humidity later on will make it feel more like the triple digits. I mentioned the 50 to 60 percent chance of rain today. Well, Independence Day, the lowest chance of rain in the seven day forecast, just in time for all the celebrations here tomorrow. Let's walk you through your July 4th forecast. Lunchtime looks really good. Matter of fact, barely any clouds in sight. Pool, beach, lunch plans are a go. And as we go throughout the afternoon, look how isolated the rain is at four o'clock. And by firework time, uh, we aren't seeing much at all. So that 40 percent chance of rain may be a little too high as uh, we're going to be pretty dry here for the fourth. Now, by the time Friday rolls around, a little more moisture starts to build back in and we'll start to see a little more coverage. And that leads to a fairly wet weekend in the tropics. All eyes on Hurricane Barrel as it continues to move closer and closer to Jamaica. And you can see the core of this hurricane not nearly as impressive on the satellite representation as it was yesterday as dry air and westerly wind shear taking a little bit of a toll. But the core of this hurricane was so well structured yesterday that despite the wind shear, uh, we still have a major hurricane. Matter of fact, not only a major hurricane, but a category four with winds of 145 miles per hour and it's moving west northwest at 20. Tropical storm force winds will start to arrive in Jamaica later on today with the closest approach being this afternoon and storm surge six to nine feet there on the immediate southern shore of Jamaica and then moving towards the Yucatan of Mexico where the National Hurricane Center is indicating a category two weakening but possibly going back to hurricane status over the warmer waters there of the southwestern parts of the Gulf of Mexico and then making a turn north there between Tampico Mexico and Brownsville Texas one other area in the tropics we are watching this is on the heels there of barrel but due to dry air and Saharan dust uh, this chance of development has come down to only 20 percent over the next seven days at one point days ago it was up to 70 percent now as far as uh, what we're going to expect uh, this afternoon 93 degrees over Tonight, tonight warm again. Let me get you over to the seven day because the temperatures here are going to run a little bit above average with that easterly wind and with low rain chances there on the fourth, they start to slide back up on Friday and over the weekend we'll see a 60% chance of storms.